Hi, this is Alex. Today, I'm gonna to do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do a little unboxing of the DJI Creator Combo Osmo Pocket 3. I'll open it up, and then I'll show you some video samples of it. Let's get started, got my box cutter. We're ready to go. Love these little Apple type uh, of pull tabs. Before I really unravel this thing, let me just go over what it has. It's got a one inch CMOS sensor. It records in 10 bit in D log M. It's got stereo recording all around the unit. It's got full pixel fast focusing. Try saying that five times fast. And it also has a DJI mic that attaches uh, wirelessly automatically to the unit and another cool feature about this. It's got active track six, which is amazing Not perfect, but it's amazing and for every vlogger you got to have that wide-angle clip-on lens, which is magnetic You don't know twisting Just clip it on Okay, it comes with this little travel case. Uh, it's about the size of a shaving kit There's no Norelco in here Little, the uh, battery, and this is the extended battery. So, oh, back. so you got these two, which clip onto the bottom of the, uh, of the unit. They'll both need to be charged. What else is in here? Okay, so we got a hand or wrist uh, strap, as well as the uh, doohickey for the microphone, the dead cat. And uh, this in here must be the uh, wide angle lens. This is the little tripod thing. Okay. There we go. So that uh, screws on to the bottom of either this one or that battery here. This is what you came for to see. All you have to do is to flip it, you turn it on, it starts shooting in horizontal or landscape, uh, and the camera positions itself in the front. Okay, see this little joystick right here? You can control the gimbal up or down, left or right. You can also configure it up and down for it to zoom. So, uh, and this right here is obviously the record button. This unit is self-contained, so you don't really need the additional batteries, but if you're gonna be vlogging very long, uh, I do recommend you take the batteries along with you. Uh, as you can see here, if you flip it back, it start. you can hit continue and it'll start filming in vertical mode. Um, otherwise, you can configure it to just simply turn off. And now back to the unboxing. There's the microphone that comes with it. I don't see the magnet yet. Oh, these things have teeth in them. So it clips onto your shirt and holds on. Ah, I found it. Here's the magnet that goes on the back of the mic. Oh, they also have a little logo on there. That clips on there. And of course you got your paperwork. And there's another box in here, and that's the case. Okay, so let me put all this thing together and uh, charge it up, do the updates and so forth, and I'll show you some video clips. Here you go, the camera is now a foot away from my face in low light. It's the first time I'm running it. I have a Samsung card inside, and it's recording fine, it seems like. I'll play it back, and uh, it should work. I'll be right back and tell you. Yep, the Samsung Pro Plus uh, seems to work fine. So now let's go find a place to film and test this. I found a place to film. I'm here at Vizcaya. I'm just testing out this and uh, I have face tracking on. Everything is in normal mode uh, and it's very dimly lit here. But as you can see, it's fairly well exposed um, using the mic as well so you can judge you for yourself what the sound is like it's very windy uh because i'm uh by the water and in this gazebo there's like a lot of wind um i'll flip the camera around 
And this is just to show you uh, where I'm located because I'm here to take some pictures. But uh, while here, I figured I'd test out the uh, video quality. Now it's, uh, like I said, it's windy. I'm gonna go ahead and walk some. I'm going up these stairs. So that uh, you can see the uh, stabilization, which everyone, I guess, knows about the pocket. This is my first pocket, so I'm just testing out the stabilization, kind of walking at a brisk pace. And uh, before anyone thinks that I'm a professional, I'm gonna turn this off before I get called out and go back to taking pictures and I'll see you in a few. And there's a closer look at the museum from the back. All right, hopefully the camera won't tip over. I hope this is recording the audio. I don't, yep, yeah, it should be. Okay, maybe I'm, I just turned on the backup copy just in case I lose audio. But, uh, so I'm just tracking, as you can see. I turn away from the camera and uh, you can see the mansion in the background, I think, or the museum. All right, so it's working. Let me go down the stairs a little bit and uh, see if it caught me in the courtyard. Okay. There we go. All right, I'm just gonna walk down this uh, beautiful courtyard by the museum. The Pocket 3 standard lens is a very good lens. I like it. I think it's pretty cool. It takes great shots, but it also comes with that clip on for the wide angle. Here's a little demo of that that I was testing out. There's the standard and here's the wide. Okay, so I've changed sceneries a little bit and uh, had a little family emergency. So heading to the hospital, but this is kind of a cool picture. So we're gonna head that way right now. Let me flip it around. And now I'm shooting from the iPhone, without a gimbal, of course, uh, but just to compare the colors. So it's gonna be a little shaky, but uh, just so that you can see what's going on. Uh, there's the skies, the exposure. I'll flip it around. And that's kind of looking into the sun. I know that sucks and you're not supposed to do that, but hey, it's a nice uh, test. Let me uh, go backwards. And uh, there's no ninja walk in here. I'm just uh, walking at a fast pace, trying to hold this. Let me flip it around once more. That's my bro. And, uh, and uh, now back to me. As, uh, things should be looking okay. I'm really liking this thing. It's uh, definitely gonna replace the Osmo Mobile 6 for me. Anyway, we're here. So I'm gonna sign off from this scene right here. Okay, I'm recording now without, without the DJI mic. This is all the internal mics on the thing. So, uh, one negative that I can find, it's like being picky. Uh, I don't care for this, okay? There are times that I've placed the, the Osmo Pocket in this thing with, and the lens was facing out um susceptible to scratching so uh be careful if you're using this uh placing it in there and making sure that the lens is face down 
because uh, if this is in your pocket, it could I guess it could scratch unless you have some type of filter on there and the magnetic filters like hang on with with a magnet. So just fair warning. That's that's about nitpicky as I can get. Everything else so far, I'm really digging it. So there you have it. That's the Osmo Pocket 3 from a layman's point of view, because that's what I'm about. Um, simple and easy. If you did get any value on this, uh, please subscribe for future content, as well as hit that like button. It helps me out when with the channel. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.